Hello everyone, Dr. Basner here. I had a request on my channel to draw the structure for CHCLBRI, um, particularly the Lewis structure. And so we have a carbon, hydrogen, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. And so generally when you're looking to draw juice Lewis structures, the first thing we want to do is add um, the total number of valence electrons around each particular atom. So carbon has one, hydrogen has, or carbon has four, hydrogen has one, chlorine has seven, bromine and iodine also have seven. Uh, and so when it comes to doing the structure, you always wanna put the more least electronegative atom in the center, with the exception of hydrogen, because hydrogen can never really be a central atom because it's only capable of having a single bond. Uh, and so we're gonna start off by putting carbon in the center. All right, then we can take each of these other molecules where we have a single uh, unpaired electron and pair those up to the four electrons here in uh, chlorine. So I'll actually use a different color for these. Uh, so we have hydrogen, Here's chlorine, here's bromine, and last but not least, we can attach our iodine. Okay, and then now whenever we have a, a pair of shared electrons between the two atoms, uh, we can simply replace those with a single line to represent a bond, right? And so what we end up with is something like this. Right, we have a single bond between carbon and each of the halogens. Uh, each of the halogens would have three lone pairs around it. Uh, and then hydrogen, of course, just has a single bond to it. Uh, now, if you analyze this, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and carbon each follow the octet rule, where they have eight electrons either in lone pairs surrounding it or being shared with another atom. Right, so chlorine has a six electrons in lone pairs the two in this bond for a total of eight. Carbon is sharing uh, four single bonds with other things. So four single bonds have two electrons each. So carbon has its octet. And bromine and iodine are identical to chlorine. One other aspect uh, of this molecule that you have to consider, um, which if you're doing the Lewis structure of it, it may not be important, but there's something called the stereochemistry of this. Uh, and so there's actually two different ways these uh, things can be connected to carbon, uh, where you can picture it like uh, a right glove and a left glove, where uh, they're the same, but they're, they're mere images of each other, or they're called enantiomers. Uh, and so if we want to do the Lewis structure of two different enantiomers, um, or 3D structures of these rather, right, we can have a dashed line to indicate hydrogen is going away from you. Uh, then you want to show one thing coming towards you with a wedge and two other things in line with uh, the page here. So um, I'm going to do both an R enantiomer and uh, an L enantiomer, right? Or R, R uh, and L might be short for right, right or left, uh, or this could be considered clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, and actually this is the biochemistry term here. So it's actually S, we call it S. S is like left or counterclockwise. Uh, and so if you have the smallest atomic number group facing away from you, which is hydrogen, which is why I drew it that way, uh, they, we start by placing the other three uh, counterclockwise from the largest atomic weight to the lowest atomic weight. Uh, and so in this case, we'd have iodine, uh, bromine, and then chlorine. Uh, we'd do the opposite over here. We'd have iodine, uh, bromine, and chlorine. Uh, and so these two might might look similar, uh, but if you if you really get down to it, they're they're essentially mirror images of each other. And so if you were to draw these again with the hydrogen going straight back, so we couldn't see it. Um, so like imagine the hydrogen is like going straight back here. It's kind of a weird way to to draw it and you were to draw these uh, other three here, it might become a little more clear, 
right? And so you could actually put a mirror image in between these and these two would be exactly opposite of each other. Uh, no matter what you could do, you could not superimpose one onto the other, right? And so this is another way you can draw some Lewis structures for this molecule. Uh, but if you're just doing a basic Lewis structure, this is kind of what you're looking for right here. So I uh, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I will uh, be happy to answer any questions for you if you leave them in the comments section.